All right, so today we're going to talk about the Leela quantum block. That's this here in front of us. So if you want more details about it, there's a over one hour video with Kay Elmer on Kay Elmer's YouTube channel that provides a lot of details uh, and looks at most of the things that you can do with it. But uh, this is just going to be a quick introduction uh, with the main features of this quantum block. So with the quantum block, if you just have it sitting at home, for example, here right now, it has a radius of about 40, 45 meters. That's about 130, 130 uh, 45 feet. And um, it provides a very nice energy field. You could call it energetic feng shui, for example, and it harmonizes all negative and harmful frequencies in your home, which includes EMF. So all kinds of EMF that you have in your home, whether it's Wi-Fi or 5G, whatever it is, it is being harmonized and neutralized by this energy field. There's a concentrated quantum energy space inside here, right in between the two plates. So it's extremely concentrated there, but the field in general uh, expands further into that radius. So it's very nice, it's very harmonious, it has a positive impact on the human cells, it interacts very well with the human body. So it's sort of uplifting, it's balancing, and it's a, it's a very nice field. Um, so what else can you do with it? So you can put something in it. Uh, if you were to put a water glass in it, you can charge the water uh, with the quantum energy and you could put any other object in there as well. For example, your shoes, or if you have um, a plate uh, or glasses that you want to charge so that they vibrate uh, this energy, you can um, put them inside here and within one to three minutes, uh, the charging process will already be ready. So you can take off the plate or the shoes, for example, um, with shoes, if you want to charge them permanently, we recommend to leave them in for one hour, but just for a, a nice uh, first charge, one to three minutes would be fine. And so what else can you do with it? You can copy frequencies, any frequency that exists, frankly, you can copy here in this quantum block. Uh, for that, you would need to put uh, something inside this quantum block. For example, let's take um, uh, a C60 capsule, or uh, if you want to take frankincense as an example, or anything else for that matter, any homeopathic um, substance, uh, if you want to use that, uh, you put it inside, and then you put also something inside that's sort of your target object. If you want a frequency of, let's say, frankincense, in your watch, you can put your watch in there and the a piece of frankincense. And within already one minute, 30 to 60 seconds, the frequency of the frankincense will already be in your watch. Now, the watch may not be the best example because I don't know if you permanently want to have the frankincense frequency uh, wearing on your wrist, but uh, there are lots of other uh, ways you can do that. Also, if you want to leverage frankincense in a homeopathic way, for example, you know, you could just charge it on a little aluminum card or even on aluminum foil, and you can build your own library with that. So those are some of the main features. You know, we have done studies also with this quantum block, uh, lots of different studies. And uh, one thing is clear that your blood already improves within a few minutes. So if it, it supports your bioenergetic system anyway, if it's just sitting in your home, you're not touching it, you're just somewhere in the proximity, it already lifts you up. And that's the same with plants and with animals. We also had that studied. Um, but if you now put your hand in there, your uh, cells immediately interact. Um, and uh, if you then measure and look at the blood under a dark field microscopy, um, the blood significantly improves, improves after a very short time frame, actually. So we've tested it after 10 minutes already, and that's, um, that's pretty significant. So uh, what else? You know, we've done tests where it neutralizes any harmful frequencies 
of water or snow for that matter. We have uh, tested snow that was actually not us, it was the third party institute. Uh, and they found aluminum and zinc and all kinds of weird stuff actually in, in snow. And um, so this device can neutralize those harmful frequencies. Uh, we've done also quantum entanglement um, tests and studies with this. This actually also works and it's been proven to work. I mean, quantum entanglement is not like a new concept. It's been proven in, in labs before, but you can leverage this device to do that. So if you wanted to provide someone that's hundreds, thousands, even 10,000s of miles away with quantum energy, you could take a picture, um, put it in here, and then provide that energy uh, over the distance. The same you can do with, let's say, um, a shirt. If I were to put a picture of this shirt into the quantum block and it would be thousands of miles away or one mile away, it frankly does not matter, distance does not matter, then this shirt would actually get charged with quantum energy. That sounds woo-woo for a lot of people because we we have a hard time wrapping our minds uh, around that and um, allowing for that thought that that's possible. But I mean, that concept of quantum entanglement is really not new. Um, it's just new that you can now do that uh, at home. So that's in a nutshell, pretty much um, what you can do. We provide a whole lot more details in that interview I referenced. And then uh, we have a telegram group the quantum power group where we talk a lot more about this and how it works and different ways you can use it. Um, but again, so you don't really have to actively use it. You can just have it in your home and then it provides us for a wonderful energy field. All right, that's it for today.